Who here likes Megan Grubb? Who here likes activewear? Today is a very special day. Why, may you ask? Introducing for the first time on this channel ever, Megan Grubb's new brand, Bluey. I am super excited to review her brand for you. I tried to get my hands on her bow and tee collab. That didn't quite work out for me, but it's all good because we got something bigger and better right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So Bluey is an activewear and a swimwear line. So the whole premise of her brand is sustainability. Both the swim and the activewear line are made of recycled materials and super ethically manufactured. What's also really cool and what she does make known is that her pieces are very versatile. So her activewear can be worn in the gym, which believe me, it can be worn in the gym. I'm wearing it nonstop. If you've seen my stories, you would know. We'll get into that in just a second. From the gym, you can go out at leisure dress it up, dress it down. Same with the swim line as well. The brand is divided into two divisions. Their active wear line, W-H-E-R-E, -E, and their beach to bar line, which is their swim line. And if you've ever gone to the Jersey Shore, you would know what I'm talking about. The beach, the boardwalk, it's all right there. So I have a nice variety going on here. A couple different sports bras, different length leggings that I cannot wait to show you guys. But before we get into actually trying these pieces on, really exciting news, Bluey's having a sale this September 1st. It's a Thursday. And in fact, when this video goes live, it's probably the day of the sale. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 30% off of everything site-wide, simple and straightforward sale. So if you're interested in any of these pieces, now would be the time to shop. Huge thank you to Bluey for sponsoring today's video. And guys, if you do find this video helpful, please do consider using my affiliate. Really helps to support this channel, our relationship with the brand, so that we can keep these reviews coming your way. Drop a comment below. Have you tried Megan Grubb's Bluey? What are your thoughts? So right now I got the full matching set on in the charcoal black. Keep in mind, Charcoal black, it's not a pure jet black. It's got a real dark gray hazy look to it, but again, it is not a true black. Starting with the sports bra. Now I have two to share with you today. The one shoulder and the high neck racer back. They also have a third one, an older sports bra on the website, which is a V-neck. So if you like more of a V-neck, check that one out. So the one shoulder bra is my favorite. I don't know why I love asymmetrical design so much, but I do. There's something so Tarzan about this, so sexy, so, Wild. Now granted, this is a very low support sports bra, so don't do anything too crazy with it. I'm not gonna lie, as I was working out, I did feel from time to time like my boob was hanging out, but it was all in my head. I would check real quick. It's fine. It never slipped out. It never even came close to slipping out. There's something about knowing that there was no strap here that I kept looking down. My instinct told me, girl, look down, like you're hanging out in front of everybody. But it never happened. It was all in my head. So I'm wearing a size small in this entire set. I will say, with each piece, you really could consider sizing down because it's so stretchy. Especially if you're in between sizes. If you order a size too big, then yeah, you might run the risk of this kind of sliding down a little bit too much. For me, right here, right now, my true size small is very comfortable and very flattering. It worked very well for me at the gym. When it comes to this angle of a sports bra specifically, right where it crosses over into this terrain is where I start to go, okay, do I have a ton of side boob going on? There's no side boob pinching and no bra bulge going on, which I actually really appreciate. Not even getting it on this side either. So the sizing's very good for that. You do have removable bra pads and no adjustments at all, but it's not needed. It's a very straightforward, simple bra, but yet it's not. You do have a little bit of that built-in support too. If you look closely, you can see some under booby contour just to accentuate the girls a little bit and add a little extra support underneath where it counts. If this little ribbing wasn't here, then I'd be like, oh man, am I gonna fall out here? But she did a really good job on this bra because these kinds of bras, the one shoulder, it's not easy to make super functional. But like I said, I did a full-fledged workout at the gym. It held up great. Let's talk the logo though. There's no heat sealed logos on these. You actually have the logo sewn into the pieces. I love that, especially when it's like a nice seamless set you're looking to keep for a long time. You don't want logos peeling. I love that she chose to go with the higher quality logo. So speaking of a logo, there's a little backstory to it. So it's obviously the letter B for Bluey, but also she did mention that it's symbolic of a butterfly. 
She loves butterflies, she loves the symbolism behind them, growth, beauty, individuality, everybody's different yet beautiful. So super meaningful to her. Moving on to the 7 8 legging. I got the regular full length and I got a 7 8 Already I'ma tell you, 7 8 is my jam. Five foot three over here. First of all, I'm so glad to see that there's a seven ace option. I feel like every single brand across the board should do that without say, without even a complaint. So both the full length seven ace and the shorts, which I'll show you in a second, all have the same features. You got the small ribbed waistband. I'm gonna say small because I'm used to a four inch band. That's usually the traditional when it comes to seamless ribbed waistbands. But this one's actually smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and use my measuring tape. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's like three, three and a half tops. Not complaining, but with that being said, even though there's a really nice, moderate compression going on on this ribbed band, underneath, directly underneath the band, if tummy control, lower abdominal support is something that you really prefer to have, this wouldn't be the legging for you because there's a lot of extra room right around here. There's a lot of stretch and it, there's no compression. Me, personally, I love the way this looks because you have the compression right around the hips, right where I need it to prevent slippage, to hold me in, tuck me in, but it doesn't dig and give me any muffin top. But I actually really like the lack of compression right around here because my hips are popping out a little bit better. I feel like it's very flattering in that aspect. You got the beautiful simple contour, obviously seamless, and it's extremely lightweight of a legging. It's like a feather light. If you don't really like thick material leggings, you like your legs to be able to just breathe, this is the legging for you. The booty scrunch, we have to talk about that. Very, very flattering. Love that natural scrunch. The kind that just moves with you when you're squatting down low. I really like that you don't feel it. It's not a stiff scrunch. It's very elastic, very stretchy. Like, look at how stretchy this material is right on the glute area. No sandwiching going on back here. In the gym, I mean, Bay actually took some videos of me squatting down in these leggings. I didn't see any sheerness in that footage. He didn't either. But right here, right now, with my five lights on me and my daylight window, I'm seeing sheerness when I squat down. So keep that in mind, if you're in a really light setting, you're gonna run the risk of having sheerness in your leggings. If you're in a really low lit area, low lit gym, you should be just fine. Like I said, I wore these to the gym a few times. Never had an issue, never felt some type of way. Real quick, I'm trying on the full length leggings for you so you can see what a five foot three -er looks like. Wham. Bam, thank you ma'am. So here we're gonna check out the difference between the 7 8 legging and the full length. So right on top here's the 7 8 As you can see, there's like a five inch difference between the 7 8 and the full length. As you can see, there's a big difference between the width of the ankle cuff. So the full length is a lot smaller than the 7 8 So 7 8 is wider. This way when you're wearing the 7 8 it still maintains the comfort around your leg. And on the inside of the legging, you have reinforcement going on right here where it counts, right next to the scrunch. This way, no ripping, no tearing. My absolute favorite kind of scrunch. So natural, sits right in between the cheeks, disguises itself as it should. But let's look at the under booty contours, shall we? Not one, but two contours going right underneath the glutes. It's nice and ribbed, so it cinches in a little bit underneath the glutes and really complements the overall definition of the behind area. So not only do you have the natural scrunch bum that's dividing the cheeks, but you also have the underbooty contour, so it's just puckering up those cheeks really nicely. And as you can see, there's that little bit of extra material going on right here, so your glutes could really sit into it and pop out and get accentuated where it counts. Now this isn't my typical mix and match. Bear with me. But I really wanted to show you guys this Racerback Sports bra. This is my only color that I have in this bra, so this is what's gonna happen right now. I actually really liked working out in this sports bra. I felt very secure. A lot more secure than the one shoulder. There is more support overall in this because clearly you have two straps helping you out. I would give it more of a moderate, whereas the one shoulder strap was more of a lower support. You still have the removable bra pads and it's not adjustable. We have a really simple racer back going on. Comes a bit higher on the neck right here, but what makes this bra super unique is the cut around the arms. I really appreciate bras like this, not only because it does give a more sporty look in my opinion, but again, 
It really eliminates that bra bulge, or at least most of it for me. Again, even in the sports bra, I think you could stick to your true size. My small works great. Look at that stretch. Okay, we gotta chat about the shorts. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, girl, if it's that stretchy of material, how's it look in the groin area? Gonna get the dreaded veggie? Now, if you don't wear underwear, yeah, I tried wearing it without underwear. Everything seemed fine until I got a low squat, and then I came up and then just went It was a black hole, and then I learned my lesson. Just go wear your seamless underwear, Ash. Don't be lazy. So I actually did not wear these shorts to the gym. I was gonna, but I decided not to because it cinched in a little bit too much for me. It is no secret that when it comes to tight fit shorts, I personally like to size up every time. I don't like when it runs the risk of cinching in the thighs. This is my, my area, I guess you can say, where I feel some type of way. Boy, am I glad I didn't stick with a small. Because even the medium, you can see. I mean, it definitely cinches in right here. But keep in mind, these shorts are designed to do that. You know, grab a little bit so that they don't roll up. By the way, they don't roll up. <laughs> it's no fault of theirs. It's part of the functionality of the shorts. This is just my personal preference. So if this is something you don't care about, then I'm sure you'll find these shorts just fine. So it's safe to say, raspberry pink, not totally squat proof, especially in this lighting. But like I said before, these pieces are very versatile. So you should be fine if you're just wearing it athleisurely or in a low lit setting. I had to throw on the full matching set. This looks so put together, am I right? I almost forgot to point out, even though I sized up in the shorts, I'm still feeling the same type of compression in the waistband. This is not sacrificed when sizing up, at least for the shorts, it's not sacrificed. Appreciate that. There's no band gaping or anything weird going on by sizing up. Maybe the tiniest little lip, but nothing to be concerned about. We're closing out the show with the lightest set that we have with none other than a sweat test. There's two things I look for in a sweat test. Number one, how much and for how long do I feel the moisture on my skin? because wicking is meant to pull off of you. Number two, how apparent and how long do the sweat marks stay on the piece? Ooh, that's a sweaty workout. Do we see anything? Do we? Wait a minute. Wait a heckin' minute. So right now, slowly but surely, you're starting to see the sweat coming through. So it's pulling from the skin, through the material and hopefully wicking the hell out of here. I'm not feeling that thick, soggy feeling. It's actually drying my skin up. Like when I pull this away and touch my skin, it feels pretty dry. Like it just absorbed it right through. So that's step one covered. How fast does it get the sweat off of me? Now step two is just to see how long it takes to actually dry where you don't see the sweat stains. While we wait, do you guys see anything different back here? Notice that I switched out the kettlebell for the dumbbells. Can you even see that these are dumbbells? Got these from Target. They're from the brand Blogilates. Is it Blogilates or Blogilates? Blog plus Pilates. That's what it is. Right in the exercise section, I don't know if these are actually meant to be worked out with or if they're just for aesthetic purposes. You guys love that kettlebell too. I'm gonna switch it back because I think I like the kettlebell more too. But how cute is that gold and like berry color for the fall time? This definitely was sitting on the shelf for a hot minute because right where it looks lighter, is where the tag was wrapped around. We took it off when we got home and saw just how discolored it was. It was disgusting and I wanted to return it, but Bay said, you know what, we're gonna keep it. I was like, all right, fine. This shit should have been discounted. <laughs> so it's three minutes into the wicking sweat test. Not horrible. I would stick to the darker colors. If sweat is your number one priority, like you do not want to see sweat, stick with the darker colors over the lightest, which is, this pink. All right, it is that time. Comment down below. What are your thoughts? What are we thinking of Bluey? What are we thinking of these seamless sets, the colors? Have you tried out Bluey? Are you thinking about trying them out? Again, don't forget they're having that big sale September 1st, which includes swimwear too. Their swimwear is really beautiful. The same color palette as what you saw today as well. So if you wanna mix and match that, you can do that. I am impressed with the quality and the designs of these pieces specifically because it's such a new brand. Megan only launched Bluey, I believe in May. So this is a super new brand. Really good for starters. This makes me go, oh crap, I cannot wait to see 
what they'll be launching in the future because I really want to try more. And believe me, I wouldn't have done this video if I didn't find these pieces worthy enough to show to you. I know we have a lot of similar tastes, which is why I believe you're subscribed. And if you're not, you definitely should. We review activewear every single week on this channel. We have a ton of new releases coming your way from all the brands that you guys love. Up next, we have the new Alpha Lee Varsity and Alpha Lux, so you do not want to miss that. So definitely subscribe, give this video a like if you found it helpful, comment down below your thoughts and any questions you might have. And again, look out for that sale this Thursday. Thank you all so much for watching and for being here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video.